Good morning, you three. Welcome back. We are back to Monday again. Uh, I think we're week five now, maybe. Um, I'm losing track of days. I'm sure some of you are as well. Hopefully, um, we'll get to see you in school soon. We have to keep doing all these mini lessons and stuff like that. But fingers crossed we'll see you all very soon. Um, so as normal on a Monday, as we know, we look at our vocabulary laboratory. So let's have a little look at our word for today. So the word we're looking at today is the word mutter. OK, now I know in previous weeks you've had little notes and things like that on your board to help you. But, you know, we're going to challenge you today to see what you can remember. I'm going to talk through it, but I'm not going to leave the notes off on the board um, as a little extra challenge for you today. So our first thing we look at is our word class. OK, so that is, is it a noun, is it a verb, adverb or an adjective? OK, so once you work out what sort of word class might be, you need to try and define it. Quite simple, straightforward. Tell us what you think it means. I'll swap it box. OK, we need to swap it for another word. Can we use a, a what we call a synonym uh, for this word? Then we can go down to our reverse it box. This is the antonym. So this is the opposite. So is there a word that means the opposite of mutter? I'll break it down. It's nice and uh, simple into our syllables. OK, and then we try and use it in a sentence as well. OK, and our last couple of boxes, as we know, our prefixes and suffixes, prefixes. Just a little reminder, those group of letters that can change the meaning of the word that go at the start. So pre means start, starts the word to change it. And suffixes, groups of letters that go on the end of the word that change its meaning. OK, so we need to have a little look at that as well. And then our modifier, we put our prefixes and suffixes on. OK, so what I want you to do is make sure you pause the video because I'm going to carry on talking in a second and talk through some of the answers. OK, but pause the video, have a little go. It is the sheet is up on the website if you want to download it and do it on the sheet. Um, so good luck. Pause the video now and then come back to it for your answers. So here we go, here we have some answers. So matter is a verb, okay? It means it's an action, it is a doing word. It means to say something in a low or barely audible voice. So very, very quiet most of the time. And we normally tend to mutter if we're dissatisfied or irritated by something, a little bit annoyed, a little bit angry, and might mutter something under our breath, okay? So another word we could use, we could use whisper. And can we talk about that little quiet sound? We could use something like mumble or grumble as well. Um, so to, uh, that sort of slow sound that we can't really work out what somebody's saying is when we talk about mumbling, grumbling and muttering and things like that. So it's the opposites. Uh, we could use rejoice, shout, exclaim, any of those things. Remember, mutter is quiet, things like that. Rejoice, shouting, same is when you're happy with something and you want to really pull it out there to the world. We've got two syllables. When we think about matter, matter and ter, it's quite simple there. Um, so when I tried to use it in a sentence, I used it here. I've sort of linked it back to the worst witch. I, had, I heard her mutter under her breath as she began to cast the wicked spell. OK, so we put an extra adjective in there to try and enhance my sentence a little bit too. So with our suffixes, we've got four suffixes we could use. We've got ed to make it muttered. We've got ing to make it muttering. S to make it mutters and uh, to be a mutterer. So if somebody doesn't talk properly all the time, might be described as a mutterer. I know if my mum was watching this, she could describe me as a mutterer because she says I mutter all the time and it's speak properly. So hopefully I'm not muttering to you and you've understood what we're doing. Big cross in our prefixes. We haven't actually got any prefixes for mutter. Um, so don't worry about that. So looking forward to seeing what you came up with. Remember to go back, edit your work if you want to make any changes. It's really important. If you've got something a little bit wrong, let me go back and we make those little changes ready um, to go forward. OK, so well done. Uh, looking forward to seeing your work. And tomorrow we're going to come back and we'll be reading chapter eight of The Worst Witch. Take care, guys, and we'll see you all very soon.